بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد ما شاء الله everyone believer they want their duas to be accepted and for that they employ different whatever they know one of them is that the, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that there are certain words if a person say Ismul Azam, the Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that a person's dua is accepted. So people, due to this curiosity, they then ask, oh, what is really? What is, really, there's no secret about it. You will be surprised as well. Now, why they have made this the secret up in, in, in a way is just because of confusion or some limited knowledge. The first question is that the, who mentioned about this first time in this Ummah? Not Sayyidina Abu Bakr Sadiq, not Sayyidina Umar, not Sayyidina Uthman, not Sayyidina Ali, Radiallahu Rizwanul Ali Majmain. It was Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who mentioned about, who firstly mentioned that there are certain, there are certain names of Allah, or name of Allah, great name of the great name of Allah Jalla Majduhu, that uh, if a person mentions that dua is accepted, and he said, Allah said, mention other things as well about the acceptance of dua, like a father's dua is accepted for the, uh, for example, or a person plays Salatul Haja in a particular way, etc., etc. But this is one of it. it but I think really people due to some from other religions influence, they have made a more out, out secret type that this is something secret and, and if uh, actually someone knows it's some magic thing, it's just whatever you say it happen. No, that is a secret. No, it is a certain magical thing that actually that you have and then everything, whatever you say is only. It's as though they have understood it is the power of kun fayakun they will have. Na'udhu billah. This is, so there is nothing like this. Even if you have, it's not that actually it's not open-ended that you become some kind of, actually have some this quality, anything. But I will just like mention a few things about that. One person is, mashallah, our brother in Pakistan, scholar, mashallah, very learned person. He came to me that he said that I am writing a book about this Ismul Azam and I have spent so many years and he, mashallah, his search and his knowledge and his uh, intentions were very good so that the people know about it and people can benefit and he said I have I have read 100 books just on this topic and after 100 book reading them this is I'm reaching a conclusion so I thought I have come to you as well and please can you mention your view on it as well. So I said to him that I can teach you something bigger than Ismul Azam, greater than Ismul Azam. Now that was like a big shock and it is kind of because when someone has made this the greatest secret or attain, to attain something and they hear that something is bigger than that. So that's like a mind-boggling. 
So he said, really? I have read hundred books on Ismul Azam. I said, yes, but you have read, you have read about Ismul Azam. I am talking about something bigger than that. Now it was difficult for him to believe okay, because it's just not mentioned in the books in such a way that something uh, is bigger than even than this blessed names of Allah, blessed name of Allah. I said, well, if you, um, I don't know, I can, yeah, this one Azam as well, but I can also t teach you something greater, bigger, more, higher than that. So he was just silent and it was like shock in, in a total shock type thing. He said, what is that? I said that this, that is, you are talking about ism of Allah. Ism in Arabic means name. So what you are saying that you will have one or few names of Allah which are if you do dua, it will be accepted. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I say that bigger than the ism, ismul azam, is the zat azam, zatul azam, the musamma, the personality whose name it is. So one is, for example, his name is. What's your name? Rahat? Ah, Rahat. Mashallah. He gave us, got a lot of Raha because of his tilawa today. Mashallah. He's got very good voice. May Allah save him from Nazar and um, grant him more Baraka. Mashallah. He recited every Mahafiz, Mashallah, who recites, they have a, they are like a flower, they have a different fragrance. Some less, some more, some don't have, but anyway, they are flowers. Uh, they are flowers anyway, but uh, but Raha really he gives Raha Raha in Urdu also means peace and um, comfort in Arabic as well. So he, mashallah, gives Raha. Really, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to like anyone who recites Quran in a beautiful way. He would select certain companion. For the all were companion. They all were mashallah. Arab people, but he would select person, certain person, and say, recite, and he, sallallahu alaihi would listen. Ubayy ibn Kaab and other, mashallah, uh, who had very good recitation. And he, sallallahu alaihi said, whoever does not recite Quran in a beautiful manner, he is not amongst us. He is not amongst us. Meaning, why wouldn't a person recite the kalam of Allah in the best possible way? And he said, the beautify, enhance the beauty of Quran by your voices, making them by your voices. So Quran should be recited in the best, what, however one can, in whatever best ability, learning tajweed, learning recitation, learning different modes of, uh, you may say, recitation, learning muqamat and such less so that one can actually you know, so obviously it is different than singing it is the Quran recitation is completely different uh, in the kalam of Allah so let's say for example I will give you an example this other's name is Rahat so Raha or Rahat so uh, it's written Rahat Ra Alif Ha Ra. so one is that name and one is the person but the personality so is quite different. Rasulullah sallallahu name, I can also see right here, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. But one is his personality. His name is great as well, but his personality is greater. He is, this is ism and he is musamma. Name and the name. So I said to this brother, look brother, you are talking about Ismul Azam. After all, it is a name, isn't it? Names. I am talking about whole at different level. I am talking about Musamma Allah. If you have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
what to say about that person who has Allah Azza wa Jal with him, his help with him, his power with him. Another, okay, he has name, that's good. But he is more higher. So I can teach you to come closer to Allah Jalla Majduhu. Find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are trying to find the name of Allah. And I said also the difference is if you have those blessed names, you know, you have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to ask Allah, I want this. Okay, Allah may give you. But if you attain Allah subhanahu azza wa jal, if you reach Allah, you won't have to ask. Allah will take care of your everything without asking. He will give you the best of himself because you are his. Man kana lillah, kana Allahu lahu. Whoever becomes Allah, Allah becomes his. So he was, I said, there is, but actually think about it. We are talking about something different. Yani ek hai Allah ke ism ki talash mein hai. Ek banda Allah ki talash mein hai. Ek ko ism ka hasool ho jata hai. Ek ko khuda mil jata hai. To bada phir koon hai. Badi ke ishaan ke. Idhar wain. So then he said that how do we do that? Then the story of Shadali. Shaya. And also one or two other my teachers. I've heard various minister you mentioning in this instance, especially I remember or the Shadaliya Tariqa. People came to some scholars, others like they go to say Nabdalaj the Bhag and others and uh, they say that we think you have supernatural powers and there's so much karamat and so much Miraculous things happen, people who come to your company, people who visit you, how you sp the speak, your, uh, actually, the, your knowledge, people who come closer to you, who listen to you, who follow you, they get very much miraculous things happens to them, meaning they get extraordinary kurba of Allah. So we think you have something special. Something special, either name, you have some name, or some weird or some zikr or weird you have. Please, can you tell us that as well? We want these things as well. People are interested in miraculous and supernatural things. And so they thought that he has something special, something to recite and secret it will be and, uh, uh, so that they can as I mentioned, this is not magic. Like ma ma they do things, magician here, there, etc., etc. Thing. He said, uh, "Yes, I do read, and I can mention to you." They said, "Wonderful! That's what we came for. We all—that's truth. We thought that uh, you have something, but now we know really." That's why you are controlling, or you have all these barakats and blessings, and all these actually karamat and ashfat and fatuhat. Now we know you have something. You, he said, yes, I do. Certain things I recite, certain things I can tell you as well. They said, please then tell us. This is Isma Azam story of Isma Azam as well. He said. Well, listen carefully. Yes, what is it? He said, well, whatever I read, whatever vird or dhikr or I do, when I do it, there is no one in my mind except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is my small azam. This is my actually vird. So I read different things, I do different awrad, but I'm not doing, oh, I'm doing this dhikr, I want a job, job is in my mind, I want doing this dhikr, the money is running around in my head, I want this, I am doing this with, I want people to become musakhar, 
Tashkheer, Ilmu Tashkheer, they were saying about Ilmu Tashkheer, that people become subservient and things become subservient to you. I'm doing this Dhikr or Vird and some jinn comes to me. And when the jinn comes to you, you will run away. The real jinn comes. <laughs> so, so people do different awrad, different things. So he said that when I am doing, yes, I, you have come to me, you ask, you ask this question, I am answering, I do read. But whatever I read, whatever worship I perform, Accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. There's nothing in my, no jannah, no dharja, no kashf, no, no status, no higher rank, no lower rank, no karamat, no acceptance, no, that I want people to honor me, I want people to do this to me. And that's it. He said, they said, this is it? He said, yes. Now, I was just mentioned to this brother, that like this is the actual thing that you are after ism go after musamma go after the name and how you go after the name that make your worship actually your dhikr and virad and awrad become free and empty la ilaha la maqsuda illallah la matlooba illallah become empty completely from every want from every want and every and do purely and purely and sincerely only for Allah ask Allah from Allah only worship Allah for Allah well, that's what we are supposed to do la ilaha illallah but then we bring so many things in so it's as though a question was asked, then where, where, where would I get other things? I want money, I want a uh, job. Like in the Kaaba, someone was doing tawaf and he was doing virda, flus. Flus means money. Money, Allah, money, 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 money. money. That was his will. Okay, that's fine. One well. can ask anything from Allah. Allah will give them you from the shoelace to actually, so whatever person wants, he can ask Allah, it becomes happy, but that person will get that thing, he won't get Allah. This is the thing. He might get flus, he might get flus, but not khulus, you see. <laughs> One is, khulus means purity, khale sojan, ikhlas. So, so that is, but this is for Allah Azzawajal. So I said, okay, if you want things, there is a door, there is a window of dua open. Ask whatever you want Allah, from salt to heavenly abode. You can ask Allah through the window of dua. You ask whatever Allah you want. Allah loves that. But through the window of worship, do not do it for anything else whatsoever. When you are doing worship, ibadah, dhikr, awrad, that door only have Allah, only see Allah in there. For things, there is a, another window Allah has opened called window of dua. Through that, you ask everything. It's as though you have two phone calls. Like people have different uh, numbers. They say, okay, this is my number for my personal use, family use. Uh, very close people and this is number for public so one phone number to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call to Allah is is called dua the telephone number is called dua and so for, through that number you ask Ya Allah I am suffering I want this I want this and then there is another one under the connection this is only purely for the sake of Allah, only for Allah, to talk to Allah only. Not for things, it's for the person, not for the kingdom, but for the king only. You don't ask about 
affairs of the king, you ask about king only, his quality, his sifat. So this is another story as well. Similarly, some uh, people came to another sheikh. They were also said something like this, that you have this. And he mentioned the same thing, that yeah, I do. Yes, I do read, but actually, what I, whatever I read, it is kalima or the salawat or anything. There is no one in my mind, no purpose, no one in my except Allah. For Allah Allah, purely. And really, whoever does this, then Allah becomes his. Then Allah gives him more than anything else. More than the people who do dua, because they are do, asking things at their level, that Allah gives at his level what, the, what is better for the servant. So one cannot imagine. Now about the asma of Allah, one should... They are, for example, 99 names of Allah. There can be one name which is greater than amongst the 99. Okay. Then there are other names in the Quran and the Hadith. There are 150, 200, 500. One might be greater name than amongst the 500. Then Allah has taught certain names to awliya, not to other people. So amongst them, there might be one name which is bigger. Obviously, there will be one. Then Allah Azzawajal has taught certain asma to Anbiya, which actually others don't know. So amongst them, there will be a name greater than amongst them, that will be a different name. There will be names revealed in the books of Allah in the previous revelation we do not know. So we can, one name will be amongst the revelation. There are asma of Allah written on lohe mafuz or on other alwah in the heavens, in the, um, for example, in the heavens, in Jannat. Amongst them, which is the biggest name? There'll be a different one. Then there are asma and sifat written on lohe mafuz. Amongst them, which is the greater, this, this will be a different one. Then it is in the knowledge of Allah, in ilmul ghaib of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only Allah, no prophet, no wali, no angel, no one. Actually. So amongst them, it's a, the name which is greatest is different. So it has different meaning actually, you may say, so it's a Zafi Amar. But we don't need to, Prophet Islam didn't put us in difficulty. He was the one who first time mentioned that there are certain words, certain sifat or asma of Allah, that if you do pray by them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts. This is Ismi Adam. So I read one, one hadith, Sahih hadith. This is not Zaif or Hassan or, you know, Hassan, the Ghairihi or anything like this. Sanadan Sahih. So there's no doubt. Who taught us what Ismail Azam about the Prophet of Islam? And who mentioned where it is? He mentioned. So where is the secret now? Hadith is coming from 1400 years. So what is the hadith? An Anas radiallahu ta'ala an. An Anas in Kala. كنت جالسا مع نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في المسجد حضرت انس رضی اللہ عنہ بیان کرتے ہیں کہ میں نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے ساتھ مسجد میں بیٹھا ہوا تھا you see there are many many احادیث I've selected the which is the most authentic صحیح حدیث so حضرت انس says I was sitting in the مسجد with the prophet محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم what a blessed people they were they used to sit with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So what happens? Wa rajulun yusalli. Ek shakhs jo hai, ek banda namaz pad raha tha, dua kar raha tha. Ek banda dua kar raha tha. So one person was praying or doing dua. So two people are sitting here, Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam and Sayyidina Anas. Anas was the khadim of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. He was a sermon, very young person. In teenage, probably he will be at that time. So he said that that person said in his dua, 
Allahumma inni as'aluka bi annaka lakal hamd Ya Allah main tujhse mangta hu ke har qisam ki hamd tareef tere hi liye hai Allahumma inni as'aluka bi annaka lakal that I am asking you, my Lord, because all praise are for you. La ilaha illa ant. There is no one worthy of worship except you. Koi maabood nahi. Maabood e brahak ne iswaye tere. Antal hanan nul manan. You are the most merciful, you are the one who favors upon people. Hanan and Mannan, who is favors to people and have mercy on them, compassion on them. Badi'u samawati wal arb. Zameenu asman ko wujud bakshne wala hai. You are the one who gave existence without precedent to heavens and earth. Ya Dal Jalali Wal Ikram Ya Izzat Wa Karam Wale Ya Hayyo Ya Qayyum Ya Hayyo Ya Qayyum Ya Dal Jalali Wal Ikram Ya Zinda Rehne Wali Zat Ya Hamesha Zinda Rehne Wali Wa Jis Wajah Se Har Chiyo Koi Qaim Hai As'aluka Faqala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So he said then I am doing dua, I am doing this. He was doing this, that person. Hazrat Anas and Nabi Alayhi Salaam was listening to him. فَقَالَ النَّبِيُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ آپ علیہ السلام نے فرمایا دَعَ اللَّهَ بِإِسْمِهِ الْآخَمُ الَّذِي اِذَا دُعِيَ بِهِ اَجَعْبَ وَإِذَا سُئِلَ بِهِ آتَ کہ اس بندے نے انس سن لو اس بندے نے اللہ سے اس کے اسم آزم کے ساتھ دعا کی ہے یہ جو اس نے جب اس کے ساتھ اس سے دعا کی جائے تو قبول فرماتا ہے اور جب اس سے سوال کیا جائے تو وہ عطا کرتا ہے so the prophet علیہ السلام when he said he is called he said he has asked Allah by his اسم العظم which if he is called upon, thereby he answers, and if he asks, thereby he gives. In the hadith narrated by Tirmadhi, Abu Dawood, Nasa'i, Ibn Majah, and classed authentic by even these muhaddisin and Shaykh Albani as well. So, what is so much secret now after Rasulullah has mentioned in the Sahih hadith, if someone just want to create curiosity and say who oh, I am finding tell me which name and he's creating a problem for himself which is public knowledge which is coming from Sanchez and the hadith which I mentioned I've selected the one very which is the authentic which are all Sahih Asna so you know this dua you can learn this dua and actually when she want to ask you ask you are asking by Ismail Adam there is no way now but anyway so this is one actually, this whole of it, the Prophet Islam said he has asked by Ismail Azam. So a person who will ask that definitely, because after all, no Buzurg or Wali or Sahabi have told us about Ismail Azam. It is Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who firstly introduced and he then defined it that this is it. Or in other hadith then he also mentioned. So here a person in this, uh, even Dua knows that that person is referring to actually uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his blessed name. So coming back to the point which I was mentioning to you, okay that is very good, mashallah you do Dua by Ismi Azam, but I encourage you not go for the Ism only, go for the Musamma, not the name but the name, try to get the personality try to get the to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla majduhu not only then you have everything Allah himself will bless you and like these buzurg zaridin awliya said 
that people ask them oh, why they get so much closeness to Allah. Sometimes this is the reason because we are, there are 90 types of agendas behind our dhikr as well. Meaning there's so many things that you know, I'm doing it for this, I'm doing it for this, I'm doing it for this. So many things around. They're not for Allah Jalla Mahdu. So that is why those people do not get such clothes. Now they might get those things which they're asking for. That Allah does not value dunya. He just gives freely. So now if you have any um, question, you can ask. You thought it's going to be a very big lecture. We have to release me Adam there three hours. There's no here. It could be mentioned in five minutes. But I thought I'll mention some other thing, something bigger than Ismi Azam as well. So you go for Allah Azza wa Jal. So you seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is like Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Quran, Vazku Risma Rabbik. So sometimes he mentioned, Vazku Risma Rabbik, that remember the name of your Lord. In other ayat, he mentioned, Vazku Rabbak, that remember your Lord his personality, his being, that he's remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his person, and one is saying his names, so that they're both blessed things, but inshallah, obviously there is drastic difference. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum sallam. Aziz sahab, you have said that these two kids are one prayer and one prayer for the Lord Allah to the Lord. So, when پہلی کھڑکی سے جو عبادت ہے اگر کر رہا ہو اور اس کے بعد اگر دعا مانگنی ہو تو وہ پھر اس حضوری سے باہر نکل کے دوسری حضوری میں جانا پڑے گا کہ اس کا کیا طریقہ کار ہے جب ایک کھڑکی نہیں اسی حضوری میں اسی خدا سے تو مانگ رہے ہیں آپ اسی خدا سے ہی مانگ رہے ہیں نا آپ نے جس خدا کی عبادت کر رہے ہیں جیسے مسا کے تو پر آپ نماز میں نماز پڑھ رہے ہیں تو آخر میں دعا بھی آتی ہے صورت فاتحہ میں دعا بھی ہے تو دعا بھی اسی سے مانگنی ہے یہی تو ہم کہتے ہیں ایا کا نعبود دیکھیں آپ کا جواب آگیا ایک ہی آیت میں ایا کا نعبود تیری ہی عبادت کہ عبادت خالص صرف اللہ کی کرو اللہ کی عبادت اللہ کے لئے کرو پھر دوسری میں آگیا وَإیا کا نستائین اور مدد بھی جو ہے وہ صرف اسی سے چاہو تو جواب آگیا کہ اللہ پہلے خود سورة فاتحہ میں جواب دے دیا کہ عبادت کرنی ہے تو میری لئے کرو اور مدد چاہنی ہے تو مجھ سے مانگو لیکن دونوں چیزیں میں فرق ہے عبادت میں آپ کا مقصد اللہ ہے اور دعا میں آپ کا کیا مقصد ہے وہ چیز ہے وہ دنیا ہو سکتی ہے وہ آخرت ہو سکتی ہے وہ عورت ہو سکتی ہے وہ جنت ہو سکتی ہے کوئی چیز بھی ہو سکتی ہے اس میں بھی پھر وہ بھی اللہ پاک کہتا ہے کہ تو یہ بھی میں سمجھے گا تم نے عبادت ہی کی ہے کیونکہ مانگا تو تم نے مجھ سے ہے وہ بھی عبادت ہی بان جاتی ہے یہ ایسے سمجھے ایک بندہ میں آپ کو سمجھاؤں میں سمجھ نہیں آتی ایک بندہ آپ کا کوئی دوست ہے کوئی بندہ آ گیا ہے وہ ویسے آپ کے ملنے جلنے والا ہے وہ کہتا ہے جی میں آپ کو ملنے آیا ہوں بڑی تیوڑا یعنی اداس ہو یا تھا میں آپ سے ملنے کے لیے یہ ہوں کیا حال ہے یہ ہے وہ ہے ٹھیک بچوں کا کیا حال ہے کام کیسا چل رہا ہے یہ ہے وہ ہے اور کیا حال ہے ٹھیک ٹھیک ہے اور کام جیزے مغرب پوچھتے ہیں وہاں بڑے اچھے ہیں یہ کیا یا وہ ہوا پورا گھنٹہ وہ کھانے پڑھ پڑھ کے تو آخر پہ وہ کہتا ہے اے دو زار پونڈ چاہی دیا ہوگئے تھے سمجھتے ہیں تو آپ کے سٹیج یعنی ذہن سے بھی وہ اس کا درجہ اتر جا رہا ہے کہ بھئی یہ جو پہلی ساری کھانیاں تھی صرف جو ہے ایسے فضولی تھی مزیر مائی مور آپ نہ تھی تو وہ آپ سمجھیں گے بھئی یہ بندہ کو اتنا اچھا نہیں ٹھیک نہیں ہے بھئی مطلب اتنی بلمبی کھانی پڑھنے کیا ضرورت ہے تو ماتی سے اب آپ سمجھ لیں آپ کی نظر میں اس بندے کا وہ اہمیت نہیں رہے گی کہ بھئی یہ بندہ کو اتنا اچھا نہیں ایک دوسرا دوست آتا ہے وہ آپ کا دوست ہے صحیح دوست ہے پکا دوست ہے وہ آتے ہوئے کہتا ہے یار مجھے دو زار پونڈ چاہیے ہے گا تو آپ کہنے ہیں ہاں دو زار کیا اور لینا اور بھی لینا کیونکہ آپ پتہ بھی اس کی آپ کے ساتھ تعلقات اچھے دوستی ہے پکی تو اس نے چیز مانگی آپ نے خوشی سے دے دی ہے کوئی مسئلہ نہیں تو یہ چیز سمجھنے تو جو بندہ اللہ پاک سے جو مانگتا ہے چیز یا ساگر عبادت کرنی ہے اس نے یا کوئی بھی تو وہ وظیفے کر کر کے آخر پہ اس نے عورت ہی مانگنی ہے آخر پہ اس نے وہی کی مطلب ہے کہ وہ پہلے وہ دعا میں ہی کہہ لے کہ یا اللہ 
کہ مجھے یہ چیز چاہیے جو ادب ہے دعا کا یعنی حمد اور یعنی درود کے بعد اپنی چیز مانگے اور فارغ ہو جائے باقی پھر اپنا اللہ سے اپنا پھر ایک دوست ہے وہ آپ سے ملنے آیا وہ صرف آپ کے لیے یار میں آپ کے ساتھ گپ شپ لگانے آیا ہوں چائے پینے آیا ہوں آپ خوش ہیں بھائی یہ میرے لیے آئے لیکن جو ہی اس نے وہ اپنی ضرورت کا تذکرہ کرنا ہے وہ غبارے سے ہوا نکل جانا کہنا بھائی یہ ساری چائے شائے نہیں یا میرے میں کوئی دلچسپی نہیں ہے تو اس لیے آیا تھا تو اللہ پاک بھی خالص بندے لالچی دیکھیں بندہ ہمیں بھی پسند نہیں ہے اللہ کو بھی پسند نہیں ہے تو چیز مانگنی ہے تو سیدھے طریقے سے مانگے اللہ سے بندہ بھئی مجھے چیز چاہیے مجھے شاہ چاہیے اللہ خوش ہو کے دے دیتا ہے لیکن وہ عبادت اور یہ چیزیں کر کے وہ مطلب جلیبی کی طرح کئی ڈنگ ڈال کے پھر گنا تو وہ اللہ پاک کو تو نہیں پھر بتانے کی ضرورت اللہ تو جانتا ہے یہ بندہ کیا کر رہا ہے سلامی <laughs> You see, I am saying you should think about Allah. If other things come, let them come. Allah has no issue with that. You should not bring other things. So let's say shaitan put something in your mind, meaning that he is doing evil, not you. So that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, Inna Allah Ta'ala, Allah has forgiven my ummah of waswas hatta ta'amala bi aw tatakallama bi until they don't put into action. or they don't actually speak about them. So other things just um, you know, a person can focus on Allah Jalla Maidu. Meaning it should not be initiated from you, this thing. That's what you should be uh, concerned with. From nerves, other things, other people can say uh, unwanted random thoughts can come. They don't disturb that relationship at all. They don't really. Let's say a person is coming to meet you, okay? A person is coming to meet you in the street, he's coming towards you, you know, you are seeing in the camera, this person is coming to meet you. Then there is some hooligan who actually hits him in the way, the other one drags his leg, the other one loots his money, but he is still is coming to you. Now, you will even develop more devotion, more compassion, and more love, look, this person is coming for me, people are dragging him, he's still coming to me. So he is a man. That is the case. When you are thinking of Allah, purpose is Allah's worship. If shaitan is coming, dragging your mind here and there, Allah has more mercy on you. Say that my servant is coming to me only. Okay, shaitan, nafs, people are dragging him therein, but he is dedicated to me. Only. And Allah knows that, that you are dedicated to him. No difficulty at all. Jazakallah, that's how I'd like to close the session now. Jazakallah, subhanakallah, bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruk wa natuhu alik.